As you can probably guess, today I am talking about slates, or otherwise known as a clapperboard. But in this video, I will refer to it as a slate. For those of you who don't know, a slate is used at the beginning or the end of a film, usually when the audio is being recorded on a separate device to the camera or the visuals. Its main purpose is just so when it comes to editing, the editor can look at what's written on the board and they know what that clip is without having to watch it all um, all the way through and when it claps um, they will be able to see a clear line like a spike in the audio and they can then match that up to the visuals and uh, your audio will be in sync. I'll just run through the different components of it. The first bit, it says uh, prod, or production. So that is where you will write what the name of your production is. And normally if you're filming over multiple days, uh, it is a good habit to put down a bit of masking tape uh, in that bit and then write on the masking tape. That way you don't accidentally rub it out. The next bit is roll and that's mainly there for if you're lucky enough to shoot on film. Uh, film comes in rolls, so that'd be numbered and it'd be roll one or roll six or whatever it is. On the sets that I've been on, we usually just leave them blank because we're just shooting digital. Um, but I guess if you had multiple SD cards you were using, you could put um, what number SD card you're using for that take, but I've never seen it used like that. The next one is scene. So that's pretty self-explanatory. It's just what number scene you're filming at the moment. So it could be you know, 1, 6, 20. The next one is take. And that is pretty much if you are doing multiple takes of the same scene. So every time you stop the recording and you start it again and you redo the scene, that's another take. Uh, it's usually if the actor messes up a line or if something went wrong with the light or uh, a plane went over. That's so annoying. Um, but yeah, or sometimes it's just for safety and the director just wants to do another take uh, in case that the actors could do a better performance or for any reason really. Down the bottom here it says director and similar to the production, normally people put a bit of masking tape on there and write on that, that way you don't smudge it. But I've also seen it being used if they're using multiple cameras that aren't the same or different lenses. So they'll put down in that space what camera they were using for that scene or take or whatever, or what lens they were using. And sometimes even settings like ISO or shutter speed will be put down there. This one, date, pretty, yeah, self-explanatory again. It's just the day that you were filming. For people who don't know, this bit can seem a little bit um, much, but it's pretty simple. I'll go through it. So the first bit here, well, I'll lift it up. It says day and night. So for this, you simply circle either day or night, depending on not when you're shooting, but when in the script you're shooting. The next bit, it says INT and EXT. This is interior and exterior. So similar to day and night, it is if it's an interior or exterior in the script. And then we'll come down to filter. And this will just be 
if there is a filter on the lens. Like for example, at the moment, I have a UV filter on my lens here, Moss and Sync. This is, I've never seen it actually used before, but from my Googling, it is pretty much if you are recording sound or not. But from my experience on a set, there is another way that is pretty simple and obvious in telling the editor if you're recording sound or not for that scene. Uh, using a slate is pretty simple. You hold it up to camera. Um, it really doesn't matter if you're in shot or not, as long as you can read everything that is on the board. Um, simply lift it up and put it down. On a set, it is the role of the second AC or the second assistant camera to do the slate but if you don't have one then it falls to the first AC, first assistant camera and if you don't have one of them it's usually the director or if you've just got someone um, that really wants to do it. <laughs> so before you get to use the slate the director will call camera and camera will yell back rolling and then the director will say sound and if sound is all good uh, they'll press record and they'll yell back speed which I don't remember why and then as second AC or first AC or whatever your role is uh, then you'll hold the slate up to the camera that is rolling and you will call out the scene number, the take, and then sometimes even the production name, lift it up, down, and then the director will call action. Uh, earlier I said that there was another way to let the editor know that you're not recording sound, and that is simply two fingers over the top and then like that because if you're not recording audio there is zero point in getting that spike and also if you are recording sound separately to your visuals and you don't have a slate another way to do it is just simply to clap you know you might have whoever's doing it say the scene and the take um, and then clap and yeah, so that is slating. Hope you guys enjoyed.